Council and uh, wish everybody a happy new year. Uh, I, I just have a couple issues I'd like to approach. The first one is uh, the uh, amount of time that uh, citizens have seems to, to uh, impose on, on these limits that are imposed on people, I think, uh, are not fair. And I, I think uh, I, I have a little bit, I, I guess I'm the eternal optimist, and I always think that things are going to get better. Last council, even though we have two of the same members here, we have three new faces, and I, I'm optimistic that things might be a little different in terms of, well, to begin with, uh, having a little bit more faith in public input. Now, I know sometimes get a couple people up there and get a little, there's some heated discussions and some heated points made. But on the whole, I, uh, you know, our, our democracy, after all, is founded on uh, public input. And uh, Thomas Jefferson said, uh, dissent is the highest form of patriotism. So uh, I think instead of trying to stifle dissent, as you people sometimes seem to do, uh, it should be, it, we should try to encourage, I should say stifle public opinion. If you try to encourage public opinion by offering maybe at least two, three, four, maybe five, God forbid, extra minutes uh, for people to, uh, to offer their input. Because this is, believe it or not, before, I think, uh, the last, uh, about four years ago, we go back, when Kathy came on her last term, I remember because I ran against her in uh, uh the first thing she did when she, uh, well, she initiated, I believe, the action to, uh, to cut the time limit down from 10 minutes to five. And I think it would be advisable to, for council to consider to, uh, instead of uh, discouraging public opinion, to encouraging it by uh, offering uh, the people a couple of extra minutes to, and, and you can always gavel them, Mr. Mayor, as you're prone to do if people get out of hand. Uh, I think, you know, um, the government, especially municipal government, offers better, uh, functions better with opinions being, uh, with, with input from public citizens. But I also have a couple other specifics I wanted to ask about the, uh, I, I'm sorry I can't let this issue go, Mr. McCormick, uh, you know, the intermodal transportation center, which to me is a total waste of money. I'm sorry I can't see a new way or a new way. Uh, uh, but I, I still wonder maybe you can have to one of the marks if you can indicate whether or not, you know, that, that to remind all the people present here and uh, council, especially new council members, uh, that project was pretty much jammed on the taxpayer's throat Throats collectively, as I see, and uh, the price swelled from originally around nine or ten million to thirty million, I believe. And to me, the, the whole project serves no real effective purpose. Uh, you claim that mayor claims it's got buses off the city, no public square, and so forth. Uh, uh, we've had a person killed over there, uh, and I don't know if anything's been done to rectify that situation. But that's a separate subject. I was just wondering, maybe if you could tell us uh, whether or not. Since the state auditor refused to get into this, whether or not there's going to be, the city has uh, investigated or tried to uh, initiate some legal action to recover some of the uh, cost overruns on that. Uh, the last, I haven't heard or seen anything to that effect. But to, with my time remaining, I just wanted to approach this subject also about the, the ambulances, which is pretty tough to let go of. Uh, I, I think it's time for, for uh, I'm really sorry about this, Mayor, it's nothing personal, but. Uh, I think the time has come for you to consider resigning. Uh, and I, I, I think if, if council wants to prove its mettle, they should initiate action to, to get the ball rolling in that direction. Uh, Amen. Amen. Amen, brother. The, the latest action, no, for whatever reason, I mean, these other people have spoke before me. <coughs> uh, there, there have been a, a, a there, the legacy of your administration, Mayor, has been. Has One minute, been, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Uh, a lot of no big contracts, a lot of projects such as the Mobile shoved down the taxpayers' throats with, with no public referendum, uh, knocking down historical buildings such as the Radnor building over here to make way for that project, raising taxes, and I'm sure we're in for a hefty tax increase again this year, cutting a lot of public services such as recycling. Uh, and, with, but I, and I'm not getting into, I don't care what other people say about the, the, the implied corruption. I, I, I have nothing to say about that. I, I, I mean, I, I am, I'm not implicating you in any, corrupt, in any schemes, any corruption. Uh, but I think you have, the bottom line is you have failed the taxpayer, Mr. Mayor. And I think that it, it is up to the present council to initiate action, to get to investigate this whole business. I, I'm ashamed of Mr. Barrett. I don't know how he could not have known that there, when he was police chief that there were two new ambulances all of a sudden appear out of thin air. He didn't know about it. Now, five years later, he finds out about it. 
Could you answer that, Mr. Barrington, when I finish? I'd appreciate it. And Mr. Uh, Vince Bill's explanation that, that somehow the city's general fund, uh, that this money wasn't deposited there and councilmen have to vote on it, I don't know how the, I, that doesn't suff isn't sufficient to me. I, I, I think an investigation is called for yeah, by this council. Right. And if, if, if it's not, then somebody here amongst the taxpayers going to call the Auditor General or the FBI. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Amen, brother.